Want to read a story about a princess frog? This book is called Princess Frog by Enid Richmond, illustrated by Gallia Bernstein. This book is about a princess bored with her princess duties and fancy clothes, longs for freedom and adventure. Hmm. Let's go over here and read the story. Princess Miranda was tired of being a princess. She was tired of dressing up. She was sick of crowns and jewels. You have to wear them, said the queen, because you are a princess. One day she went to see her godmother, who was a witch. Turn me into something different, she begged. So Miranda's godmother turned her into a frog. Miranda liked being a frog. She liked floating on lily pads and leaping through leaves. I'm going to just ask you a question. Have you ever seen a frog with a pearl necklace? Uh, or a crown, tiara? Seriously? And she loved catching flies. Yuck! One evening, she leaped into a park where a young gardener was walking. Look at that frog, the gardener said to his friend. Let's catch it and keep it in the lily pond. The next morning, the gardener went to look at, this very, at his very own frog. Miranda was leaping around. The gardener laughed. If I found a girl as funny as you, I might even marry her, he joked. Take me home, croaked Miranda. A frog that speaks, said, he, said the gardener, surprised. So the gardener took Miranda back to his cottage, and she sat beside him in a bowl. If you give me a kiss, said Miranda, I might even turn into a princess. I don't kiss frogs, said the gardener, but he did it anyway. Suddenly, a pretty girl stood beside him. He fell deeply in love. Princess Frog. Will you marry me, he said. But Miranda wasn't quite sure. No more dressing up, she asked. The gardener laughed. Jeans and no more crowns, said Miranda. They give me such a headache. The gardener laughed. No crowns here, he said. And I'll, keep, I'll need to keep leaping, Miranda added. I'll build you a trampoline, promised the gardener. Okay, said Miranda, if I don't have, it, have to dress like a princess, I will marry you. And so they were married, though the queen did not approve of Miranda's wedding outfit. Wow, they look pretty comfortable to me. And, of course, they lived happily ever after. Yay! And she's on her trampoline. But every once in a while, Miranda slipped back into her frog skin and floated happily on a lily pad in the pond. Oh, I guess her godmother did that for her. Look at that. So in the back of this book, you can do other things, put puzzle pieces in order, and you can match the speech bubbles to the people, the frog, the gardener, or the queen. And that's it for our book. So, thumbs up if you liked Princess Frog. I liked it. See you next time. Bye-bye.